Yeah, thank, yeah. thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. And I want to follow on that excellent speech by saying that uh, I'm worried that the ten tone and tenor of this debate has been assuming that quantity and quality can't come together. And I think that we should put that false dichotomy aside. I think it is perfectly possible, and if you take not just these three statutory instruments, but the whole raft of the government's planning reform proposals, that is what we should be getting and what I am expecting that we will see. And the reason why I say that um, is because we've already mentioned, I, I mentioned in an earlier intervention, the point about the development codes. Development codes will mean that we end up with good-looking local development, which is locally appropriate, which uses local styles, which lo uses local materials, and which is set by local councillors and local councils, and therefore local democratic voices are properly heard. That, taken together with the space standards just announced, or reaffirmed, I should say, today, means that we can have good-looking and high-quality um, housing, while at the same time opening the floodgates to a far higher rate overall of housing construction than we have ever managed under any government of any particular political persuasion for decades and decades in this country. And ultimately, Madam Deputy Speaker, the quantity of housing, whether it is to, 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 to buy or to rent, the quantity of housing, new housing that's being built, is the thing which will dictate over the medium term the affordability of housing, again, to buy or to rent. That is the long-term answer and the fundamental problem which we've had in this country over decades is that we just haven't been building enough homes for any kind of tenure and that is the thing which has driven up housing costs to their current unaffordable level. So I welcome this, uh, the, the, these um, total package of reforms of which these three SIs are, um, uh, form part simply because it resolves this dichotomy, this false choice between, between um, uh, uh, quantity and quality. I would, however, um, make one plea and which is that a number of us, I suspect many, many uh, uh, members on both sides of the House, will be getting all sorts of concerned emails from residents and from their councillors alike who are worried about what I think someone colourfully called the mutant algorithm, which is being used um, to calculate the number of homes that need to be built in each local authority area. Um, I've written to the Housing Minister making a suggestion about how we might be able to resolve this important local democratic concern, which is simply that if we can allow large numbers of permitted development rights under, um, under high quality development codes to be built in town and city centres right the way across the country, then we should allow the permissions that have thus been created, the homes that will therefore be built, to count against those housing targets. If you take a town like Western Supermare in my constituency, average height of buildings in Western Supermare is roughly two storeys. If we allow them to go up to four storeys, it will take years of steady construction and conversion to get there. We will end up with good-looking local terraces, crescents, mews, um, house, uh, homes and, and mansion blocks. Um, every bit as good as the best in any part of this country, but they will have local character and, more importantly as well, we can create thousands and thousands of new homes. It makes no sense not to allow a proportion of those thousands and thousands of new homes off against the new housing targets. And with that, I think will come far greater local democratic acceptance um, of the overall package, including some of the concerns about the overall housing build levels. M. Johnson.